Hello everybody and welcome back to another Games for Dads video on cars, the universe and everything. We have got a super cool deck review for you today. Um, we built this one around this week's league. So we are looking at a fabulous fish deck. There we go. And we've done this because one of the arena bonuses you probably know is 80 bonus for fabulous fish. So let's have a look at the deck. We're starting off with a mythic. We've got Kraken, your ocean and sea cards in hand game, plus 40 this turn. Super cool mythic card. Uh, if you don't have all these mythics, you can swap them for any other fabulous fish cards. They all work pretty well together uh, in this deck. Atlantis, this is a cool card. This card costs minus six and gains plus four, uh, sorry, plus 50 until played on the return. That's uh, Atlantis, another mythic. Uh, we've got Flying Dutchman, which is a difficult card to get. Not absolutely necessary for this deck but i've included it if you're losing we're going to gain 48 our cards in hand game 48 uh, that turn so that's the flying dutchman we've then got a ultra fusion well worth trying to get this one if you haven't got it you just need to uh, fuse it because on the return your oceans and sea cards wherever they are gain 25 but they will cost you plus one energy until play so that's the tidal wave cool card silver arowana what a nice card on the play, your Feisty Fish and Fabulous Fish cards, wherever they are, are going to gain 12 until played. So that's the Silver Arowana. And the last mythic is Mermaids. We have to include this one, really, because on the play, your Fabulous Fish and your Feisty Fish cards in hand gain 70 this turn. And on the return, you're going to save one energy on all your Oceans and Sea cards. 8 for 82, Crystal Jelly. On the draw, your Oceans and Sea cards, wherever they are, cost minus one until played. So that's going to really help us with our energy throughout the game. And then we've got Sea Sheep, another fusion. Definitely worth making. This is probably my favourite fusion. On the play, your opponent cards in hand with 41 or more base power lose 30 this turn. So you can do a little bit of damage with that one. And then we're into the Fabulous Fish. We've got the Queen Angel Fish. Your Oceans and Sea cards in hand cost minus four this turn. On the draw, so that's going to help again with our energy. I think we're going to have loads of energy actually with this deck, to be honest. Might have gone a little bit too conservative. The Copper Band up Butterfly Fish on the return game, plus two energy this round, eight for 77. Yeah, for sure, we're not going to have a problem with energy. Okay, Moorish Idol is the next one. Your Fabulous Fish, Sharks, and Deep Ocean cards, wherever they are, gain plus 12 until play. So, cool card, eight for 78. Nice picture, I like that one fish swimming around in the coral really cool okay our next card is the mandarin fish probably my favorite picture look at that on the return your remaining fabulous fish and feisty fish cards in hand cost minus two until played we are going to have so much energy okay let's carry on the cleaner rassi uh, six for 49 on the start a random oceans of sea card in your hand gains plus 15 at this round so we'll try and hold that one as long as we can uh, and probably try and play it in the arena and then we've got the Neon Tetra. Three random Oceans and Sea cards in your hand gain 17 this turn. Reveal before scoring, which is always dead handy. Three for 30, so not the highest card, but it will give us some extra points. Koi card, fantastic card. On the draw, your Fabulous Fish cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 and cost minus one until play. Repeat if your deck has four or more Fugual Japan cards, which we don't. Then we have the Spotted Handfish. For every round completed this game, your common and rare deep ocean and fabulous fish cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. 6 for 45. Could be quite useful. And then the common card. Very useful card. This card loses minus 10 permanently and your oceans and sea cards in hand gain 16 uh, until this card is returned to your deck. 6 for 80. So a really high scoring card, that one. And then the Gold Veil Angel Fish. On the draw, this card gains plus 30 this turn, 6 for 52, so not bad scoring. But as I said, this deck is really built to make the most of the arena bonus. And I think we've got enough uh, synergy with the other cards to win at least two more rounds. So, <coughs> excuse me, let's see how we get on. So we're ranked 1, we've got a couple of shields already. Let's see how we do. Let's go into the game. I'm liking the new deck layout, by the way. Uh, so let's see if we can find a player. So as I said, if you don't have all these uh, Oceans and Sea cards, all the Mythic cards, do put some other Fabulous Fish cards in and it won't actually damage the deck too much, to be honest. Uh, and then you can probably compete fairly well. Okay, we're going into the game. Let's see how we do with these Fabulous Fish. Who are we playing? That's the question. Nebulous Mind. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I wonder if he's there. Let's say hello. 
Okay, what should we start off with? Hello, obviously. <coughs> Let's get... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get the mermaids. Hello, good to see you, Nebulous Mind. Uh, the Neon Tetra, I think that reveals all. No, it buffs those two cards in our hand by 17. Maybe we should keep that. We got 357. That's a good score to start off with. Oh, it looks like he's playing maybe an Eight Immortals deck here. Okay, this will be good. I think we should be able to easily beat an Eight Immortals deck with this Fabulous Fish deck. But let's find out. <clears throat> okay. We got Sea Sheep, uh, Common Carp. What should we play here? Uh, I think we will maybe go clean a rassi. No, we probably want to hold that one. Uh, common carp, as I said, four for one, two, three. Definitely worth playing. I might. No, I don't want to play that. Tidal wave and neon tetra. No, sea sheep. Two, four, five. That's better. I was dillion day in there. Oh, he's got flying Dutchman. We're going to be a little bit behind, but nothing too much to worry about. You got two, six, seven, two, four, five. Oh, no, we're still in the lead by the looks of it. Okay, so we're going into the third turn. So let's try and make sure we win this one, actually. That would be pretty advantageous for us. So that's that Queen Angel Fish, really handy. Look at the cost of those cards, almost nothing. I think we went well overboard on our energy cost reduction there. We're almost playing our cards for free. Uh, spotted Handfish. At least we can get up to 100 energy. 300 not bad. That's enough to win us that first round. There we go. Is he playing eight immortals with a few other cards thrown in? Interesting. <coughs> okay, one nil. Fabulous fish so far looking pretty good. I do like this deck. Okay, there's our flying Dutchman. Oh, a bit of a lag today. We had a bit of problem getting into games earlier as well. I don't know if anybody else had that, but uh, seems to be working fine now, luckily. Uh, Silver Arowana, that gives us a nice buff. The Gold Veil, Angel Fish, and Mandarin Fish, 4 for 99. 371, good score again. Uh, interesting method of playing his Eight Immortals here. He's slowly getting them up. I think we've got lucky here because the next arena is actually the Fabulous Fish. So if we can win this round, it's fairly close at the moment, then we could get a 3-0 win from this deck which will be very impressive. Okay, we're 24 behind, which is okay. That gives us a chance to play Flying Dutch. Maybe we can pair it up with Kraken. Uh, so that's the reason I included Flying Dutch, but it gives us a nice buff there. 48 on each of our cards. And Crystal Jelly, 473. This should put us well in the lead again. Not bad score, he's getting better. Not bad, Nebulous Mind, 391. Okay, we've got a bit of an advantage. I think, yeah, we could probably swap some of those energy fish out for some more high scoring fish as well. Probably just to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, what should we do here? We've got uh, Atlantis is not going to be any good in the next arena. Mermaids, uh, should we do that now and try and make sure we win? Why not? And let's take a pick. Copper band, yeah, well, 374, 396, that's okay. Oh, not a bad score. I'm glad we went for that. We just squeezed through that one. Just squeezed through. Well played, Nebulous Mind. Okay, so we are now into the Fabulous Fish Arena. We get 80 buff on all our Fabulous Fish cards. So this week you can get some really good scores from these fishies. So let's see what we can do. As soon as he finishes drawing his cards, we will get that arena bonus. Okay, here we go. So, plus 80, plus 10, plus 16, plus 15. So, there we go. Some nice bonuses mounting up now. So, Tidal Wave. Let's do that now, I think. We Carp, 5 for 203. Fantastic. Look at that. And Common Carp's looking good as well. 5 for 218. 7 for 221. 5 for 9. What a score. Okay, we should breeze through this third round. So, yeah, that's why sometimes I do like to build a deck around the arena bonuses. Because... If you get the right cars and you do get them in the right order and that arena bonus comes at the right time then you can normally win games fairly quickly i think this is going to be a 3-0 win with 308 points in the lead and we've got some massive points to come i think we might be able to get over 600 let's try 255 
one for one seven four and zero for two five one one for one eight four six eighty not a bad score i'm liking that he needs a thousand points almost to catch up not bad not the flying dutchman keeps him in it just about if he's got a really high score in final hand but i don't think he has because we've still got these massive cards in our hand. We're 500 points ahead, 506 points ahead. Let's have a look. And we've got some more fabulous fish with the arena bonus. So we can just finish this off easily now. Five for 209, two for 169, and five for, and 613, there we go. Not bad, he needed 1100 there to win. So, yeah, 3 0. Well done, Fabulous Fish. I do like that deck. I think I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10, certainly for this week, purely because of the arena bonus. But as I said, it's quite an easy deck to build. And if you don't have those Mythic, do swap them for some of the other Fabulous Fish cards, and you'll find this deck works just as well. Maybe not quite as high scoring on some terms. Um, but it will work really well. So anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because we've got some really cool stuff coming up over the next few days. And in the meantime, we will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye. <coughs>